AFTV, my man come all the way from America. He's been waiting here a long time to get on. Um, you must be buzzing to come all the way from America and to see a game like today's of the highest quality and an Arsenal win. I mean, wow, what a trip. It was awesome. Um, so it was three hours worth of trains yesterday, a 12 hour flight. So it's been a long journey to get here. Um, I had to wake up at 4.30 in the morning for the Derby. So this, this, beats, this beats everything that I've had to, uh, it beats the American experience and it's unmatched. It's the best ground in the country, in my opinion. Best fans in the country. It's such a diverse background. People come together and I love it here, so. Yeah, yeah, um, great performance on the pitch as well. This team at the moment, I mean, it ain't always been like this every week. Yeah, you know? yeah. I can tell you that yeah, over yeah. the past few seasons. But last season, we started to see shoots of change. And this season now, this looks like a team that could do something special. It does. Um, so I was actually telling my friend the other day, I think this season feels different because we're winning games we're supposed to win. Um, we don't have Neil Mape rallying us up, losing at home to Brighton, things like mm -hmm. that. Um, but I think the turning point for me a little bit was a game, I don't know if any of you remember, but 2019 away against West Ham, we won 3-1, Lundberg was the manager. And even though Arteta wasn't in, um, it was still the young core players, Saka, Smith Rowe, Martinelli. And it showed us some resiliency. We went down 1-0 at halftime. It was still the Socrates, Lichtsteiner, David Luiz era. We were 15th in the table. It was a pretty rough, pretty rough time. Um, but that showed me some resiliency. And it showed me that these players are really built for it. And I know it's been a struggle. Um, just going back to the 4 a.m. thing, I woke up at 4 a.m. a couple years ago to watch us draw Fulham in the 94th minute with Nankatia equalizer. Like, it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. But we're finally here. Um, I know everyone's been afraid to say it, but I think we're title challengers. Um, and I'm going to say it with confidence. We're, we're top of the league. You're saying it with confidence. I'm saying it with confidence, American confidence. We're top, we're top, we're top of the league, 14, 14 points clear of the Scousers, and we're doing our thing. So now Over here, we're a bit more reserved. Right, so we don't, we, we, we don't apart, apart from my man over there. Oh, yeah, you. Oh, yeah, he's never reserved. Yeah, yeah, you. Right? But normally we're a bit reserved there. We're like... We, we say it in quiet, you know what I mean? Yeah. We go around the corner and go, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Man will go up to a friend and go, you know what? Hey, you know what, Robbie? <laughs> right? But then when you go ask him in public, you go, nah, nah, man. We're just going for the top four. <laughs> but you're saying it with confidence. I'm going to say it with confidence. You guys can call me Ted Lasso, whatever, but I'm saying it with confidence. We're top of the league. We're winning the fucking league. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.